everyone. Thanks for watching. Today we're trying new lip gloss from MAC as well as some trendy lip combos that I have just been obsessed with. Things that I want to show you guys and also try on camera. So this is definitely going to be just an all lip video. We're going to try some liners, some gloss, scrubs, primers. Let's just go ahead and get right into this video. To start off, I'm already wearing a matte combo. This is Oak Lip Liner, which is a very natural new lip liner. You guys know Max Clear Gloss is probably the glossiest gloss that I have. Whenever I want that just super shine, heavy gloss, this is what I go for. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And because I did have a heavy lip on, I'm gonna go in with the Candy Nectar MAC Lip Scrub. I already talked about how good this smells. Make sure you go check out my last video. Maybe this is even too much, but you literally only need a drop of this. A little goes such a long way because I feel like this is more of like a heavy duty lip scrub. It's definitely removing all of that. And it's something that you would still want your lips to smell like even after you know you've removed most of it the very first new lip product that we're going to try from mac is the squirt bomb i explained how this item was released back in like the 2000s i'm not sure the exact year but this was an item that was loved by so many they asked to bring it back and so they did bring it back i think two or three times now it's sold out i'm sure they'll probably bring it back again but this squirt bomb is like no other. It's a lip plumper, but it also has this really pretty golden yellow tone to it. To me, that just makes it like so different and worth it. And like all MAC glosses, it's super glossy. Like definitely gonna give you high shine. But this is a lip balm, so it's not meant to just be like a gloss. But I feel like it's so glossy that you can't wear it as just a gloss. So I'm not even gonna add any lip liner or try to give you guys a full look with this. I really just want you to see what this looks like. And come on with this packaging, like super cute neon. It's definitely giving 2000s. That's just my bottom lip and you guys already see how glossy this is. And it has that like honey golden tone to it. Look how glossy this is. Like, how is this a lip balm and it's this glossy? I feel like you can for sure add this to any look and enhance your look. Whether you want to add this at the end, if you want to do just like liner and the gloss, so pretty. It's not even giving balm. Like, it's giving gloss. Here is Squirt Balm. If it comes back in stock, make sure you grab it if you want it because... It comes and leaves, but it's something, like I told you guys, it's been around for years and years, and the girls and guys are asking for it back. So whenever you can grab it, make sure you grab it if it's something that you think you like, you would want to wear. I love it, though. Like The first time I tried to get it and I missed out, had to get it the second time it came back around because I really feel like I don't have another product like it. Not only is it super glossy, it has this yellow honey tint to it that I love and it's also a lip plumper so you feel that rush to the lips the next shade that we're going to try from MAC this is from their glow play collection so this is also more of a natural soft shade this is in the shade sweet treat it also says that this one is a lip balm also so let me show you guys this I have another shade from here that I got from my time working at Mac when I first started there we used to have these meetings and like link up and talk about makeup and then they would present us with new items sometimes the sample items which are items that did not get released and that's exactly what this was this was a shade that did not get released but I loved it so much that I bought it for like a couple of dollars I know you guys probably cannot see on the bottom, but it even has sample on it. I think that's so cool to have, like just to have in my collection. Um, I definitely wore it though, because I loved it so much, but I do know that it's like a one of a kind item. I don't know why it never got put into production because it was literally like one of my top phase glosses from MAC ever, but it was given glow play even back then. I don't even know what it says at the bottom, but I'm really hoping that it's similar. Like look how close the shade looks. 
very similar with the shade i think this might be just a little lighter but they're both bombs so they are going to give you that like light wash of color look how yellow this is coming off i told you guys it's honey i don't know if it's showing up as well as what it looks on camera i'm gonna add a little oak liner you can tell this is my favorite liner from mac but i like showing you guys how i would wear it regularly if I wasn't doing a tutorial or a review if I was just like wearing it out. I'll show you guys on the back of my hand so you can get a better look at the color. Really pretty, soft, neutral, nude. It smells so bomb. It smells like it has like more of a floral scent, but it definitely doesn't smell like any other MAC lip that I have. So the Glow Play must have their own to them i love this shade i would add a little bit of clear gloss to it so let's do that but i really like how this shade looks classic mauve pinky nude not too bright and then i'll just add a little gloss on the highest points of my lips so here is sweet treat a really pretty summer shade, I feel like. I think this is a shade you could wear with makeup or without makeup. And it still just blends effortlessly into the skin. Really pretty. A vibe for sure. It's giving summer. Now let's get into some of the trendy lips that I've been seeing. The first pick I'm going to put up is Ari. She's wearing this plum liner and like a lighter nude neutral in the center. This is something that I've been seeing just everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and recreate this lip. What I love so much about this lip is the heavy liner. So I'm gonna go in with this darker brown shade liner that has a little hint of red in it. This is a dark, deeper liner, but it definitely has like that red undertone to it. And that's really what you want if you're trying to create looks that have a little red hint or a plum hint to it. I'm still gonna mix in half red. This is from MAC and this is just like a true reddish brown shade. And I'm just gonna go over where we've already added. This is gonna help to blend it out, but it's also gonna add that redness. I wanna go in with Fabi. This is a light pink frost shade. It still has a frostiness, which adds more of like a highlighter look to it. That's really what you want when you're using products in the center because you still want to do the same thing as far as like a contour and highlight. If I was wearing this out myself, I would blend my top lip in even more, but we're recreating trendy looks. So I'm looking at her picture. I'm gonna go in with this Patrick Ta. And so for the top lip, I'm only gonna add it to the highest point. I actually really do like it. Definitely a pretty night out gloss liner and i feel like this looks really good with my eye look as well this next look i really love she had this beautiful neutral new lip on and i was like yes okay something that i feel like i go for so i wanted to try to recreate this look also this is a natural brown shade like a medium brown I'm also gonna go in with Nude Kate. This is a Charlotte Tilbury, really pretty neutral brown. Really more of just a brown base nude. And so I like that. No gloss, just a cute nude, okay? Yeah, I like this. This is really cute. So this one, I don't need gloss. It's giving me that highlight in the center with new cake. The first shade that I'm gonna use is Snob, which is a really bright pink. And on top of that, I'm gonna use the shade called Love You Back, which is also a light pink. We're gonna use our same liner that we have on already, which is Cork. Super cute, and I feel like the key to a good ombre lip is to make sure you have that contour and highlight. Of course, you can add gloss to this also if you prefer to do it that way. I'll show you guys how this one looks with a little clear gloss. We've added a matte liner and also a matte lipstick. So with adding the gloss, it's not gonna just move around, especially if you add it to the center. Love it with the gloss also.
Our next look is from Meg. I think this was at the Oscars. Using Fabi for my lipstick shade and Dangerous Curves, which is a new brown. Another mid-tone shade that I definitely can see me wearing. This is something that looks good even though it's bold. It's still wearable. It's giving like midday, evening. I'm definitely going to have to start getting more into these darker shades, this darker liner look, okay? And this is exactly why I say anybody could wear whatever look they want. They just have to create it in the right way that suits them. Meaning just really what you like because I feel like anybody could wear whatever they like. If you like it, it's for you to wear, you know. You can do whatever you want to do. But with shades like this, deeper shades, lighter shades, brighter shades, if you are a little nervous about how bright they are or how dark they are, Blend that lip line out and you'll see that it just really starts to blend into your lip look. But I'm loving this shade so much. This is definitely going to be something that I start getting into more, which is that more red brown tone liner. I feel like I'm always wearing true browns or neutral nudes. But this is something for sure I'm going to start getting more into this because I really love how it looks. I love how all of these lip looks turned out. If you like these lip looks, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know which one was your favorite, which one do you think you'll be trying. And also let me know what you thought of our new MAC shades. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tay Franklin. Don't forget to follow Dom, my boutique at Dom Control. If you're looking for cute items for the summer.